It's time to hit the beach with some of our Bachelor Nation faves, and some people we didn't really remember, and David Spade. It's Bachelor in Paradise 2021, baby, and I see heartbreak on the horizon. Almost paradise. I'm gonna leave that for the show, actually. Let's talk about the season of Bachelor in Paradise. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. This is the first Paradise season in two years because of the pandemic, and they're going all out, bringing back 23 all-stars like Grocery Store Joe, Serena P, Serena C, Cat Guy, Queen Victoria, who is now rebranded as Goddess Victoria, Kenny the boy band manager who came in completely nude. This show sounds so bananas to anyone who doesn't have a deep historical knowledge of The Bachelor, and I love it. Plus, we have a new host, Chris Harrison out, David Spade in. He'll be one of several celebrity guest hosts filling in the season, and I love the energy we're kicking off with. He was cracking me up making fun of all the contestants, saying we've re-met them all pretty much about 100 times at this point. It's not kind, but it's not wrong. But whom's is finding love? Grocery Store Joe had a rough start to his return to paradise following his split from Kendall, who Psst, is coming later this season, look out, Joe! He was clearly in his head and spent most of the first episode panic napping on a daybed, but managed to connect with Serena P in the end, trading said daybed angst for a daybed smooch. Way to turn things around, Joe. Abigail and Noah get my vote for most likely to actually date outside this season after making a very fast connection. They even got the first date of a season. Mari and Kenny also made a love connection, which I'm sure had nothing to do with his nude arrival. Trey and Tajwan also paired up despite her previously dating his uncle. Connor and Marissa cuddled, Aaron and Tammy were vibing, Ivan and Genesia were hot tubbing. Others didn't have quite as much luck. Queen Victoria, now Goddess Victoria, according to her, and pretty much just her. She may have come in looking for redemption from that season, but her refusal to approach any of the men didn't exactly bode well for making connections. Or as she said, my goddess energy didn't quite kick in. Honestly, the pigeon spikes on her head were also probably a bit intimidating. David Spade then broke the news that with 10 men and 13 women, the guys have the roses this week and three women are going home. Amid all that frenzy, enter Demi. Now Demi is never afraid to stir the pot, that's kind of her whole thing. And last time she was in paradise, she got engaged to her girlfriend Christian. But those two are old news and Demi is ready to tear up paradise. I sense a love triangle. I wanna f*** that. All that and we have so many more people to come. The Becca Kufrin is making her way back to the beach. Kendall's coming back to find love slash feel awkward around her ex. It's no wonder these guys are sweating so much. Catch Bachelor in Paradise Mondays and Tuesdays at 8 on ABC and hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any breaking news with me. I'm Anna Ruber and this is Pop Culture Social Call.